Well, Easy Orchards has a wide array of squash and pumpkins. I'm here with John out here at Easy Orchards in uh, Salem. We're going to do speed gourding right now because there's so many varieties and we want to give you a little glimpse of a lot of them. So why don't we start right here at the, the beginning? Okay, we've got the Cinderella pumpkin. Uh, it's an heirloom variety from France. We have the Long Island cheese, a well-known in New York and New Jersey. Heirloom variety, excellent for eating and for pies. I love this one. This is the Triangle or Shamrock. Excellent variety for fresh or for uh, cooking and baking. This is a French variety that I'm going to let you pronounce. Yeah, I forgot it already, but we'll try here. It's a uh, Galet d'Assine. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> sounds good to me. You know, it, these it, warts continue to grow even after they're picked, and eventually the whole squash will be covered with these warts. Excellent for soups, a nice moist flesh on Proving that what's on the inside is often more important than what's on the outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a newer variety of pumpkin. Beautiful large handles. It's called Wolf. Uh, powdery mildew tolerant, so great in a garden. This one is called Lumina. It's a white pumpkin. Now these have actually started to yellow a little bit. If I had picked them before that frost a couple days ago, they would just be brilliant white. white nice. This is a Queensland blue. Love that one. Very good quality eating uh, squash or pumpkin. They're all in the cucurbit family. Uh, these are Gladiator, a nice carving pumpkin. Yeah. Not so much for fresh eating, but beautiful for carving and decorating. Uh, this is Little Ironsides, a nice decorating pumpkin. You can see those all over uh, some nice Thanksgiving or Halloween table. This is a beautiful one. This is a fun one. This is called One Too Many. <laughs> it's kind of like a bloodshot eyes there. <laughs> And of course, got, these are uh, another little mini. Jack B. Little, uh, very hard, not something you would carve, but excellent for decorating. This is Mousquet de Provence. Another or, beautiful one. Or Fairy Tale, uh, another heirloom variety from France. Good eating. Uh, this is called Wizard, I believe. No, this one is Mystic. Mystic, a nice pie pumpkin. These are what we use for our school tours, but they also would be great for making pumpkin nice. pies. This is Jardelle. Uh, it's an heirloom variety from Australia. Very nice eating. This is a very small version of Dill's Atlantic Giant, which is the ones that you see for all these giant squash competitions. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you they know, they can often weigh up to a thousand pounds. There are there, and we still we haven't got done yet. There's a lot more varieties we haven't covered. But I also want to talk some, John, about the. You have a bunch of stuff going on. So oh, let's we do. Cover that a little bit. All right. Um, each weekend here in October, we have horse-drawn hay rides and pony rides and tractor-drawn hay rides, live bluegrass music, our pumpkin patch, uh, lots of activities, a corn maze corn in the maze shape cool. of state it's of Oregon. Fun. It's a lot of fun. There's probably about 60 signs out in the corn maze, informational. So if you're walking along down Highway 26, there's Bend or there's Redmond, nice. Nice. and you can see all these neat towns and there's a little bit of history about each one on the sign. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And there's great food out here. You have all, all kinds of music happening. I mean, yes. just a lot of different functions. Uh, if you want more information, you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll certainly click you over to their website and do come out. And, and I tell you, there's still so many more varieties of stuff that we didn't cover in this little segment. So come out and find your own squash and, and pumpkins that fit just right for you. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you.